Is there anything better than a creamy, wobbly panna cotta? Well, no, there isn't. That's the answer. But I don't want vegans and vegetarians to miss out. I'm going to show you how you can still enjoy your panna cotta with this recipe. Now, I have just a little bit of water, just cold water in here, into the pan. And I have some vegetarian gelatin here. Now, it works exactly the same. So I just have some scissors, cut the top off there, and we're just going to stir this in so that it dissolves into the cold water. That will only take a few minutes. Now, I'm going to use coconut milk today because that's going to make it nice, high in fat and vegan, which will make sure that we stay nice and full. So, in we go with the coconut milk in there. Oh, all that good stuff. Some almond milk as well here, about half a cup. You want to just start stirring, making sure that it's all nicely mixing together. Now, of course, we need to flavour it. So I have some lovely Madagascan premium vanilla extract here. Now, it's got a very strong taste, which is exactly what we want when we are dealing with higher fat recipes. So one teaspoon of that. And now our sweetness, so that we get it nice and sugar-free as well, is we have some maple syrup, grade A maple syrup, the good stuff from Canada. And I'm putting about half a cup of this stuff there. I can already smell that coming up. So I just want to mix it. When it starts steaming, it's ready. So panna cotta, people think it's a tricky thing. It really isn't, and it takes no moment at all. Now that steam has started to come up, which is my cue that it is ready to go. So we'll bring this over. I'm just using these Dariol moulds here, which make it easier to flip and get it out. In we go. So we just want to pour it nice and evenly all the way to the top, which makes flipping a lot easier. Now we'll let these just cool down before we put them in the fridge. And then they'll go in the fridge, ideally overnight, so they really nicely set for a minimum of four hours. Fill this last one here, and you have on your hands a very easy vegan panna cotta. Just into some hot water to make sure that the sides just release that beautiful panna cotta. So onto your plate. Loosening a little, magic tap. Oh, perfect. Now, you could add a few little fancy things on there, but I actually think that's gorgeous, just as is. Oh, it's perfect consistency. Mm. So great if you're going to have a dinner party. You just want to quickly have something in the fridge that you can give everyone. Absolutely love it and very, very impressive. Mm.